guys, Blay Anders here and last Saturday night was the third race of the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs at Bristol Motor Speedway. So in last Saturday night's race, Brad Keselowski started on the pole with his teammate Joey Logano starting alongside him in second for the running of the Bass Pro Shops NRA night race. And after Brad Keselowski started on the pole, he went on to lead until Kevin Harvick who started fourth was quickly able to take the race lead away from Keselowski. Then early in the stage, the caution came out for Ricky Stenhouse Jr., who got into the side of Jimmy Johnson on the backstretch, which then sent him down into the inside wall, hitting his car front first off of it, giving him heavy front end damage, which then brought an early end to his race. Then after the restart, after they got back under green again, Brad Keselowski was able to take the lead back away from Harvick, but then in the closing laps of the stage, Chase Elliott was able to then take the lead away from Keselowski to go on to lead the rest of the stage to go on and win stage one. Then in stage two, after the pit stops between stages, Kyle Busch was then able to take the lead away from Chase Elliott for the restart. Until early in the stage, Kyle's teammate Denny Hamlin was then able to take the lead away from him. Then a little while later in the stage, the caution came out for William Byrne who wasn't able to slow down in time and ran right in the back of Joey Gase who apparently had an issue and wasn't able to get down to pit road in time and stopped right in the middle of the racetrack which then gave William Byrne heavy front end damage and also brought an end to his race. So since Kyle Busch was now the leader, after both Kyle's teammates Denny Hamlin and Martin Truex Jr. made contact with each other and both got damaged earlier in the stage and the caution came out right at the end of the stage, he was able to go on and win stage 2. So then in the third and final stage, after the pit stops between stages, Kevin Harvick was then able to take the lead away from Kyle Busch for the restart and went on to lead until the caution came out for Austin Dillon and James Davidson, who were right behind Kevin Harvick when he was slowing down about to turn down onto pit road heading into turn 3, and checked up to get around him, and Austin Dillon got up into Davidson and sent him around up into the wall in turns 3 and 4. Then on the restart, Kevin Harvick continued to lead until he ended up getting caught up in lap traffic and Kyle Busch was able to take back the race lead. Then a few laps later, Kevin Harvick was able to take the lead back away from Kyle Busch after he got held up by Joey Logano and was able to lead the rest of the race and hold off a close Kyle Busch to go on to get the win at Bristol. So congrats to Kevin Harvick on winning the third race of the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs at Bristol Motors Speedway. Now the four drivers that ended up getting eliminated from the round of 12 were Cole Custer, William Byrne, Matt Benedetto, and Ryan Blaney. Also, be sure to watch the fourth race of the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs at Las Vegas Motor Speedway next Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. But anyways, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video or later.